Namaskar everyone, it's, it's uh, Monday morning and um, there's a lot of sun on my balcony today so I've taken a, another view. <laughs> now you see the background being a little different. And, um, but it's a joy to greet you on Monday morning and to hold you in satsang, hold you in, in noble conversation. And um, first of all, let me wish you a marvelous Monday wherever you are. It's always a joy to be uh, centered in divine consciousness. Uh, it doesn't matter what, what is happening on the outside. Uh, everything is perfect according to the karmic play. So what, what we need to do is to learn how to appreciate and understand that, that there's a divine play at hand and uh, all we need to do is to align to it, work with it. And if, there is, uh, if we are led into spaces where we can help people, where we can make a difference, where we can shine a light, um, let's do so. And where there's a challenge, let's work towards it, growing um, in and from it. And uh, let's make a difference wherever we are. Yeah, we are centered in the divine, and all is all is centered in the divine. So let's take let's take that idea. So yesterday, um, in my morning uh, program, I, I spoke a, I spoke to the God within, and uh, um, what a marvelous experience and and first awareness. Um, that that has been, that making a shift from God outside to God inside and holding that, holding that resonance that God is inside of me, the power of the universe is inside of me, the consciousness of the universe is inside of me, um, having that realization as a possibility and then craving the experience beyond anything else, wanting to experience that God within. That God within is, uh, should be an immediate experience, and it's not an experience of duality. It's an experience of being in, experiencing in, experiencing that, and that which is at the substratum of be being, which underlies being. So God is not something you can explain. <laughs> it is something you can experience, and you can open yourself um, exuding that God quality within you, nobility, strength, faith, uh, security, trust, uh, equanimity. And you can, um, you can open yourself and allow that to extend into the space around you, what we may call channeling. And uh, so then the God within becomes an experience that we can, we can share. Uh, but um, others need to be attuned to it, to resonate with it. So what happens when there's a God within experience? It transforms ourselves, ourselves completely. There's deep silence. There's deep silence. We begin to feel what may be called and what we have heard biblically, the peace that passes all understanding. Right now as my day begins here, I'm immersed in it, in a temple there meditating. Nature is waking up in my part of the world. My spinal column is alive. When I breathe, I can feel the prana across my spinal column. In my brain, third eye centered, medulla centered, and breathing becomes ecstasy, <laughs> to say the least. Prana becomes an experience in the brain, our nervous system. 
and there's a beautiful Richard. So even whilst I talk to you, I'm thinking, oh my God, this is so sweet, this inner space. I need to just explain this a little bit. And this is where God is within us, the source of all sweetness, nectar. That's why we call immortality um, Amritam. Amrit also stands for nectar as well as immort immortality. When you're taking up in that ecstasy of being, time disappears. You don't have to, you don't have time to look at time <laughs> or to be aware of time. Time really is the change that is happening around us, the sun, the movement of the sun. Well, the movement of the earth relative to the sun. So let's center in that space. Eyes open, eyes closed, suit yourself. Let's center in that place of peacefulness, lovingness, vitality, stillness, equanimity. And you can breathe, breathe into every level along the spinal column. Put your eyes open too. Eyes need not be closed. And as we shift within, our view of the world around us shifts. We see things much differently. Just stay in the silence with me until you feel it. That, of course, the chemistry might pull us back, right? The body, the grossness of the body, what's happening inside of the body, the health of the, or vitality of the organs within you the stomach, the stress levels, they all call you back to the body. But ride the energy wave, that's what I'm doing now, I'm the prana, I'm along the spinal column, I'm into the, the pranas that move through the body. I can feel the, the, the prana of the right nostril and, and the, the, the warmth of it and I can feel the coolness of the prana of the left nostril. I can balance them with my finger if I want to or just focus on moving it with my mind, intention. With a Pull up the breath, I can sniff prana to different areas of my being. That's through the, through the throat. Using the throat, ujjayi, the medulla, and the third eye. And you can see the movement in my neck and nose. But I'm energetically centered in the brow, nourishing the brain. That feels phenomenal. And when you work one area, like what I'm doing there now, you look at what's happening in the corresponding areas. For example, I'm holding my hands like this, and I can feel the God power. My God is strong while I'm doing this. And I can feel the storing of prana in my gut. A 
and the body feels more in balance at the pranic level and more recharge at the nervous level. The nerves are strengthened. And so if I were to breathe the gross breath, With the same belly focus, the same brow focus, I can feel the physical body becoming more recharged. Its cells are becoming renewed. Organs within me are becoming revitalized. And I'm sitting in the beautiful energy of the sun. It's a beautiful sunny day today, which I like because it's a rainy season and the reprieve of the sun is always welcome. Okay, so let's sit together in the silence for a little bit. Uh, the silence is just so attractive at this mo moment in my consciousness that I want to share it with you. Again, eyes open or closed, if you're driving on the road, you want to be attentive, but you can stick centered in the inner space with me. Or if you engage in activity at a workplace and you're still listening to me, you want to just allow that energy to flow into the workplace, flow into your body and then flow into the space. Even as you take a few minutes break. I'm drawing the prana, pausing. When it pauses, pushing out with a prana, pauses when it pauses. So I'm flowing with the rhythm of the breath. I'm go going to open my eyes because it's too attractive to, to, to close the eyes and, and, and to stay in that space. As I stay with the sun, what comes to mind is the Gayatri Mantra, praying for that inner sun as we experience the prana of the outer sun, that the light of the inner sun, Tatsavitur Varenyam, Bhargo Deva Siddhimahi, that that light that we meditate upon illumine our minds today, transform the intellect today, make the inter intellect more noble and sattvic today. Om Bhur Bhuvaswa Om Tat Savitur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyona Prachodayat May you all be blessed with this, that your intellect will shine today magnificently. Om Bhur Bhuvaswa Om Tat Savitur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyoyona Prachodayat Om Bhur Bhuvaswa Om Tat Savitur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyoyona 
प्रचोदयात् ओम शांति 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 हे And it's beautiful when you can vibrate with a mantra. The ultimate with mantra is you can begin to feel its energy flowing in and through your being. You can believe, you can begin to feel its potency that it's actually creating transformation inside of you. That's the beauty of the mantra. And when you realize what uh, the fruit of the mantra, then you begin to feel the experience of the mantra within your being, the effect it's having, the positive and transformative effect it is having. So I, I, I want to, to join this with the Mahamrityunjaya Mantra, which is a tremendous favorite of mine. Um, its meaning is, is deep and uh, its uh, effect profound. It's a healing mantra, a mantra for um, regeneration, for healing, and for being established in an immortal consciousness, the consciousness of deathlessness, Mrityunjaya. So it's a Mahamrityunjaya Mantra. Oh, that comes way, comes from way down um, in the root level, coming up to every level along the spinal column and then finally through the mouth. The stages of the energy, they're called Para, Pashanti, Madhyama, and Vaikhari. Vaikhari is the gross uh, manifestation of the energy through the voice. Para is where it's undifferentiated, it has no come into the sound yet. Para. Para, then Pashanti is when it now begins to take form. Um, that's in the lower chakras, the sacral and the, and the, and the uh, root and the navel. Uh, the, where it now begins to take form. And then in the heart, it's called, uh, it's called Madhyama, uh, using the heart chakra. Uh, and, and that's in, in, in the middle. And then, it, well, it, it is flavored by the emotion, and then it comes up uh, up into the voice, as the gross voice. So Madhyama and then Vaikhari. So Parapashanti, Madhyama and Vaikhari. You will actually feel these energies inside of you as you, as you utter the voice. So that's the science of Vak, speech. So, Om Trayambakam Yajamahe so we worship that all seeing one. Sugandham Pushtivaradhanam, your fragrance brings uh, nourishes and brings prosperity. Urvarukamiva Bandhanan Mrityo Mrityo Mokshiyama Mritat. Please remove all unhealthy attachments, just in the same way that the cucumber or the gourd. It falls from the stem when it's ripe and let all things fall away from me that are unhealthy. And then Mahamratat means, uh, please grant me immortality. Don't, don't keep it away from me. Om, this is for the world. This is for the world, for all suffering across the world. May the consciousness be lifted and may we live beyond suffering that we may be able to comfort our, our bodies uh, our own body and and for those around us. Om Trayambakam Yajamahi Sugandham Pushtivaradhanam Urvarukam Eva Bandhanan Mrityor Mokshya Mamritat Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandham Pushtivaradhanam Uruvarukam Eva Bandhanan Mrityor Mokshiyam Mamritat Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandham Pushtivardhanam Urvarukam Eva Bandhanan Mrityor Mokshiyam Mamritat Om Shanti Peace Shanti Peace Shanti
Beautiful, isn't it? Such a powerful, potent, meaningful mantra. Like Gayatri. And then as we are on the subject of mantras, uh, this is for all of us working together in lifting consciousness. Om Sahana Vavitu. May we be protected together. Sahana Bhunaktu. May we be nourished together. Sahaviryam Karavavahe. May we be strengthened together. Tejas Vina Viditamas to May our knowledge be full of light. Ma Vidvisha Vahe. May we remain united beyond all differences, united in spirit. Okay? Let's, let's do this mantra. Om Sahana Vavatu. Sahana Bhunaktu. Sahaviryam Karava Vahe. Tejas Vina Vaditamastu. Ma Vidvisha Vahe. Om Shanti 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 So I just thought I'd share my day with you a little bit and to wish you a glorious Monday. It's a marvelous day here and I hope with you. And doesn't matter what is happening in the world today, how challenged you may be in the body or, or from the world around you, no, stay centered in your divinity. The divine is looking over you. And the divine is with you. Just go create with the divine. Try to appreciate and understand what the divine is intending and how the divine can support you. Don't try to lead the way without the divine. Don't try to navigate this human experience without the divine. Because then we should not navigate in darkness and ignorance, but we should navigate in the light. And that can only happen when we walk with the Divine. The Divine is the light. Okay, I want to wish you a marvelous day. Stay well, be well, and stay well. Uh, and show that you are equipped for this, this journey, this challenging journey of life. Have a great day, everyone. Namaskar.